My name's Dave Little, I'm from Welling Garden City. I'm a plumber and at the weekends I work in a tackle shop. See if we can catch some of these wily old crafty carp. So you join me here today at the Woolpack Fishery in the heart of Cambridgeshire. The sort of venues you'll probably find me at are a lot quieter than most waters. Uh, I love chasing these old vintage carp that we've got left floating about. I love the great river ooze, I've fished it for many years now and I'm probably best known for fishing for these river carp. Uh, I got addicted to fishing for the river carp there and spent many years chasing these fabulous river creatures in miles and miles of river. With fishing the river, it, it's not like fishing a still water with, in effect, you're fishing miles and miles of water. And those river carp could be absolutely anywhere in all those miles. This year I was chasing fish around, trying to, well, at least trying to find them. And then after two weeks, I came across my first couple of fish, which I managed to catch one. So, so it's tough going, but it's well worth the rewards. Um, I love the big pits that surround the river, and I've been chasing a lot of big old carp. On, on these sort of venues. I've been in the Woolpack fishery now for three years on and off. Uh, it's a lovely venue, uh, old willow line venue, loads of reeds. The carp are even older. Uh, some of the carp in here are older than me. Uh, they've been right tricky to catch. Uh, the rigs that I've been using, I've been changing them month in, month out. Uh, they've definitely gave me the run around, but a huge buzz catching scaly old creatures turning up at any one of these sort of fisheries, the first thing is, before even tackles even hit the bank, is to go out and find, find where these carp are. And that could be at all times of the day, even all times of the night, I'm just forever trying to find those carp, searching for those carp. With regards to the nature of this water here that we're fishing, being gin clear and the carp being so tricky, the iron tech fluorocarbon hook lint, it's, it's a definitely, a, a definitely a game changer. Uh, they're not seeing it, uh, it's doing everything I want it to do and I've got 100% confidence in using the material like that. And you're also using the braid, it's a weedy water that we're fishing here so the, the braid is perfect, it sinks, it's abrasive and if I've got one of them carp on that want to beat me up, I know I've got the strength there to deal with it. So right in the middle of the filming, in true style, one of the rods is rattled off. You have this absolute beautiful wall pack scaling. Over the moon. Put up a spirited fight, huge tail. And look at that for a set of scales. Absolutely perfect. Glistening away in the autumn sun. What more could you ask for? Being at shows, carp shows up and down the country, uh, knowing some of the guys are ready, coming across, obviously using these bits, moving on to the RM tech range, it just lended itself perfectly to my, my style of fishing. Being away from home for quite some time and obviously the Ridge Monkey Power Pack, the pans, uh, the cooking, it was perfect. It was just a perfect combination for me to join such a company. Now we're in the autumn here on the wool pack. Uh, I'm definitely going to try my best into the winter months here uh, but I, I, I'm definitely missing those big old pits those big windswept pits I, I'm going to try and do my best to find myself find my way back to one next next spring hopefully <laughs> 